Hey guys, Anders here with another video. Today we have a maintenance alert video reminding you of the events that are ending with this week's maintenance. If you're like me, you sometimes forget which events end when, so hopefully this video will help you. The Imperial Horse Delivery event will end this week with this maintenance, so make sure to sell your horses through Imperial Delivery before maintenance. The delivery invoice tokens you get are very useful, and if you haven't already, make sure to use these tokens for the one-time family quests. They're there forever, so you don't have to do it right now, but make sure you use those. You can get a T8 horse out of it, some other goodies as well. It's especially good if you're a new player. The challenge rewards for being logged in for 90 minutes are also ending. They give you some more delivery invoice tokens, so make sure to at least get some of those. The mount XP and training XP boost will also be ending, which I know it's a little late, but if you haven't already, catch some horses to power level your training life skill to artisan or master with these event buffs. They help you a lot. Catching a wild horse and then riding back to the stable with your normal horse will speed up the process if you didn't know that. South of Dregan is a popular catch spot as well, but there are also other places. The Fresh Tulips event is also ending. This is a farming event that will reward you with a fresh tulip seed. You get that seed from Lara in Heidel. You plant that seed in one of your farms and you'll get 10 fresh tulips once it grows. Depending on which NPC you trade this tulip with, you will get a certain buff. The tulips can be exchanged for another week after this maintenance ends, so you don't have to use them right away. You can wait another week if you just grew them today. There's also a fashion album event, which is fairly easy to complete for some decent rewards. All you need to do is go to the pearl shop and find the outfit your current character is wearing. You'll see an icon to open the fashion album for that outfit. You can go ahead and take a screenshot showing off your character wearing that outfit to automatically enter and complete the event. The event says to show off your Draconia, but it doesn't really specify that it needs to be a Draconia outfit specifically to get the rewards. It seems like it can be any class. You'll get the item drop rate buff and the Bertrigio bag rewards two weeks from tomorrow. And finally, we have the end to a season hot time event for the extra XP over on season channels. Tomorrow's big update is the T10 Dine mythical dream horse that can run on water for a short duration. It looks really nice, but I think the functionality or practicality, I would say, of this mythic horse isn't comparable to the Pegasus version. Regardless, I will be doing some attempts myself to see if I get lucky. So if you're also going for it as well, good luck. Hope you get it. You should also have saved some attempts by now since the materials needed for the Mythical Dine attempts are the same as the Mythical Ardonaut. If you're interested in the Mythical Doom horse, which would be the last of the Mythical horses, be sure to save up your attempts. So when we see the T10 Doom sometime, probably next year most likely. That's it for me. Hopefully this type of video was useful and helpful. And as always, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.